You are welcome to this second part of our Braille course. This is the part called Grade 2 Braille. By now, I expect each of you to be proficient in reading and writing Grade 1 Braille, which involves letters of the alphabet, punctuation marks like full stop, comma, apostrophe, and a question mark, simple sentences and words from all the letters of the alphabet. Now we are starting on a fresh section of Grade 2 Braille. Grade 2 Braille is contracted braille. It is used by more experienced braille users whom we expect you to be now. Um, some letters in contracted braille or grade 2 braille remain in grade 1 braille while others change. In grade 2 braille we add a series of special signs to represent common words or groups of letters. In other words it is like shorthand. So here we have the first set, first exercise in grade to braille. We shall start gradually, gradually, and we are starting with the letters which we know. This is the simplest piece of grade 2 braille. We are going to look at simple upper word signs, group 1, where in most of these simple upper word signs, the initial letter of a word represents the whole word, apart from a few of these letters, where a different letter presents the word. And as you go through the exercise of today, you'll find Braille becoming easier. For example, as you see on the screen, the word from is represented by letter F. In that way, we have shortened the word from four letters to only one letter. So the effort and the space you'd have used to write four letters is just simplified to use one letter. Word, the word knowledge is represented by letter K. The word people is represented by letter P. That is represented by letter T. Can is represented by letter C. Go is represented by letter G. Like letter L. Quite letter Q. As U. U letter Y. Have letter K. Letter H. Have letter H. More letter M. Rather letter R. Very letter V. Every letter E. Just letter J. Not letter N, so letter S will letter W. There are two words I have not mentioned because they are not using the initial sign and I have wanted to mention those words afterwards. The two words, one of them is it. It is good to be here. It is represented by the letter X. It is a unique one in this group. And it is unique in because it is not using the initial letter. Another word is as. As she is as kind as her sister. As. As is represented by the letter Z and Z is not an ish initial sign of that word. So all together we have 23 simple upper word signs and 23 simple upper word signs in group 1 and out of the 23 simple upper word signs 19 use initial letter signs and only two, which is it and as, use different letters. Now, in simple upper word signs, we have a rule. And the rule goes as follows. The letters are used as simple upper word signs only if there are no other letters added to the word. Where other letters are added to the word, we spell the whole word out. Where other letters are added to the word. We spell the whole word out. For example, we have said like is represented by the letter L. And there can be a word likes. It means another letter has been added to like and that letter is S, likes. Therefore, 
we spell the whole word out likes and it is l i k e s and those are five letters for the word we spell it out because it has not met the condition for using simple word sign group 1 another example is the word knowledge knowledge is represented by a letter k but there is a word knowledgeable so actually we normally say the deal is spoiled we cannot now use the simple word sign we just spell the word knowledgeable out with that let us look at the exercise on the screen uh, the exercise which will help us understand better and implement these simple upper word signs in the exercise you will find that all the 23 letters are there and there are other words also like knowledgeable and likes which will help you to implement the simple upper word sign rule so we are going to start by reading the same braille here we go it has rained but we shall still study in the same braille that first sentence we have x in this case x is a whole word and before it we have a capital letter sign which is dot 6 because it is a beginning of a sentence next sentence i have just come from that very cold place and before the word i there is a capital letter sign which is dot 6 next word after i there is have have instead of having four letters we only have one letter which is occupying one space and have is a word just instead of having four letters j u s t we have one you can see how grade two braille has condensed the whole sentence and it has made the work easy as i promised you we shall enjoy as we keep adding more and more i have just come from that very cold press next line knowledge is good and people who have it are referred to as knowledgeable so the words which we shall contract by putting one letter is knowledge people have it as then when we reach the word knowledgeable, what should we do? We refer to our rule. Other letters have been added to it. The other letters that have been added to knowledge are A, B, L, E, knowledgeable. So we are going to spell the whole word out as you can see in our simul braille on the screen. Next, we can do so well if we like it. We have implemented simple upper word sign by using letters on can, do, so like it we continue i would rather get fewer marks than just cheat next she is not so tall but rather medium height there is a punctuation mark after the word tall and that is the comma next she is quite gentle and more organized than her brother lastly you will go with us every time so as we have been doing in the previous exercises first do enough practice of reading this sim braille with a colleague after that you braille the work and after that you have it marked by either yourself by cross-checking with a sim braille or by your friend or by the more able other. Till we meet next time. Thank you.